Hey, what's going on everyone? Try to Thrive here with some pretty underwhelming news from Planet Zoo because, well, today was World Animal Day. Should have been a really big day for Planet, uh, for Frontier, and they've said it themselves already uh, not too long ago on their Frontier forums that World Animal Day was going to be, for them, a very big day full of reveals and whatnot, and we did not really get that. Now, maybe for all we know, um, something may have happened behind uh, the social media screens. Maybe, maybe it's just a random idea. Maybe one of their one of their good friends, one of the workers there. Um, maybe someone died. Maybe something happened with their. Tech maybe something happened with their computers. Maybe they lost all internet for several hours and they couldn't really get it out. Maybe anything could have really happened to keep them from not keeping their word. But if nothing happened, then. What the hell, Frontier? Because today was just so boring. I'm sorry. It, they said it themselves. It was going to be an exciting day, full of full of lots of reveals. We only got two, and uh, not even one of them's not even an animal. So, just what's up with that? But I could go on forever and talk about how today was very underwhelming. Um, and basically, they said every 200 retweets on their World Animal Day GIF, they would show something new, and they, they really didn't keep that number, because there's over a thousand. We should have seen at least four, or, yeah, four or five reveals today, but we only got two. So I'm just, I'm very confused on Frontier's part, or, sorry, not part of Frontier, sorry, very confused on my own part, and for everyone else. And I'm not the only one who thinks this, I've read some comments, everyone, so there's some people who are really disappointed with the underwhelming day. But uh, I guess getting past that, we could talk about what is really cool. The Riverboat. This was first revealed, and uh, here's what they said when revealing this on Twitter. Have your guests enjoy a luxurious journey on the water, letting them travel around your zoo in a style with the Riverboat ride. Now, we've kind of figured a, a ride like this was going to be in the game from the beginning. And um, it and also the gondola were both found in the files, and it was only a matter of time before we saw one of them, and now here it is. I just think it looks incredible i really do the detail on this boat remember we can customize it you definitely will be able to and it just looks great you can see it's on the tracks uh track going through the water i kind of like that yeah, it, you know it gives like a disney-esque um now people really wanted rides from planet like planet coaster to come into planet zoo and luckily they have given us that so far so the boat safari truck and the steam train three major transportations and exciting attractions to include in our zoos, make them futuristic zoos, because you wouldn't really see this in the typical zoos, but um, I think it's great, I really do. We'll have that ability to make some pretty freaking incredible, um, unrealistic, but still massive zoos with these vehicles. And the gondola, I really expect it, I really do. We'll probably, they'll probably keep it a secret though until launch, so. You can see this boat, this boat of the screenshot we're seeing right now, it's already being used for its main purpose. So you're in the baby elephant up there and the zebra, it just, it, it looks great, it really does. And just like with the safari truck and steam train, there's no one really driving it, that's why it's on the track. Um, it really does feel more like just like a ride, which is its purpose, and I'm really happy to have things like this in Planet Zoo. As long as it's not too many, you know, they could definitely save them things for DLCs like carousels, roller coaster, like at least at least one animal themed roller coaster, or maybe even tree chop courses for our guests, and this is a lot in zoos, my local zoo has one. So something like that would be really cool, but a boat like this is perfect. So thank you so much for Frontier for giving us a riverboat ride. And now we move on to the more exciting thing in my opinion, but also a little underwhelming. Um, the Okapi. So you probably didn't know this, but the Okapi was my most heavily requested animal. It was on the top of my wish list. I love Okapis. They're so damn beautiful. Seriously, this animal just looks like it comes from the Cenozoic era. And, you know, it's actually becoming more and more popular, luckily, so people are getting introduced to it, especially in ways like this. I reckon some people today have never even heard of an Akapi, but now they have, and uh, I think it just looks incredible. And, well, they posted this saying, the Okapi has had a nickname, African Unicorn, before it was officially discovered. People would tell stories of seeing a donkey-like creature with small horns in the forest, but its existence wasn't confirmed until 1901. So yeah, the reason why this animal is so underwhelming to me is because we've known about the Okapi for a bit. Since Gamescon, when there was an IGN livestream when we first saw the Indian rhinoceros, you could see the Indian elephant and Okapi sign down at the bottom, and now we've seen them both. So basically, the only animal revealed today was of an animal that we knew about, so it wasn't new, and we were just waiting to find the sea. That was basically it. There was technically actually no new animal revealed today, 
we just got a look at an animal that we've been waiting to see because we've known about it. So yeah, that's one reason why it's really underwhelming. Another reason though, I have to be completely honest, and that's why I love the animal in real life. The old copy in the screenshot, while I'm very happy with it, I'm not the most happy. You know, like I could, I think it could be better because if I'm being honest, it looks kind of fake. It really does. I don't know why. Maybe we're just not getting a good enough look. Hopefully when we like, in our own, when we actually get to the old copy ourselves and look close up at the skin, I'll be able to see the fur and, and just, it, it just, it looks a little weird. The head looks plastic. Now, I actually, that's not too far from what an old copy's head looked like. It has the vein, it has the, it does kind of have that fur texture, even if it's not exact. The antlers, I think they are antlers, are not exactly correct. The old, old copy's antlers are a bit more connected and have make a bit more of a V shape, and you can kind of see that, but it's they seem a little too more spaced apart and uh, a little a little more obvious. They don't have to be that big. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying that, and it's, I think it's really just I don't think we're just getting a good enough look at it because it just like I said, it looks kind of fake. I mean, I know it's not, and it's fine. I'm not gonna. They don't. Really, they're not actually. They're not really furry animals. They're just very slick, tight, um, um, velvet skin. And that's fine, but I'm, I don't know why. I, I think there probably could have been a better screenshot that would have made this thing look a little bit better. Um, I'm sure it'll still be cool at launch. I don't want to seem too negative about my favorite animal in the world, but just saying, does not feel 100% perfect, or at least there are better animal models in the game. Let's just say that. So yeah, uh, got our first look at an animal that's not brand new, and also got our first look at uh, something else that's also really technically not brand new as we've known about the river boat for a bit now, but it's pretty good to see it. So yeah, that's it. That is literally it for World Animal Day. Very underwhelming. I, like I said, don't know what has happened with Frontier. I, I reckon there's got to be something behind the scenes that happened. Um, I don't want to seem too drastic, but you know. Why, why would they have not, I mean, they, 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 I hope they don't think they kept their word, because they so did not. They would have been, if, it, if I was in charge, there would have been at least two or three more animal reveals, along with like a, like a map reveal, or something cool like that. Because you can actually see, forgot to mention this, on the Okapi screenshot, if you look in the background and you see the map it's on, I swear to God, it looks like they're on a coast. Look out, you know, a coast right in front of an ocean. Just to be clear on that, which it would be an absolutely incredible look map to build on. I can just imagine building our zoos on a really high cliff, a grassy cliff, overlooking, I don't know, the Pacific Ocean. That right there would be an absolutely incredible map. Even if it's like the smallest one in the game, I don't care. I would freaking die for that. That is awesome. Which kind of looks like it. I mean, it's probably not, but I'm just saying, it kind of looks like it. So I wanted to say that. But um, yeah, other than that, that's basically it. It's been a very underwhelming day, and um, while I love the Okapian boat, I would have liked to see more. So, overall, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please remember to like button, subscribe, stay, to, stay tuned for more Planet Zoo news, and in general, beta content as I have some more um, exhibit speed builds in the work, works before the beta is over. I also plan to do a full thoughts and opinion on the beta uh, on the final day. And uh, yeah, so that's my plan. And other than that, though, have a terrific day.